Thank you. Thank you. And I, I just felt that was a little bit weird. <laughs> I have this weird sensation of being in total disbelief of standing in front of you at this very moment. I knew from the moment I met you, you were special, but I never thought I would have the chance to vow myself to you. <laughs> you look nice. Beautiful. Eric, one of the things I admire most about you is your ability to handle adversity. You don't cry or throw a fit or get mad. You just look at the problem in front of you and take it in stride, never wavering in the idea that life is too short to get upset over things you cannot control. I vow that I'll always love you with everything I have. I vow to take care of you, to know when to put your needs before my own. I vow to put you first in everything I do. To stand with you hand in hand through all of life's ups and downs. I vow to protect you while also letting you be your most curious and inquisitive self. <laughs> I vow to never make you say go Huskies <laughs> and to honor your love for the underdog. I vow to celebrate your most wonderful accomplishments and to be your rock in times of uncertainty. I promise love and laughter will never be in shortage in our home. I vow to make your friends and family proud and to be a man our future children can look up to. I vow to encourage you and support you in your hopes and dreams. I promise to listen to you, to treat you with the utmost respect, to be your level head and to give you, <laughs> and to give you my heart. I vow to love you and cherish you all the days of my life. But my most important vow to you is that I'll always encourage you to chase your wildest dreams. It is what our first date was founded on and it is the very reason I fell in love with you. You are a dreamer. It is your livelihood. It is what makes you you. I'm honored that you will be my wife and that now I will be included in your wildest dreams. Uh, like most girl dads, I was completely prepared to impart fear and intimidation. Um, but the truth of the matter is, um, the first time we met you, uh, you won us over and kind of threw all of that out the window. Kara is a very rare person in that when she decides that she's going to love you and you are her person or part of her people, she loves you unconditionally and fiercely. 
I mean, you, you all know Eric. When he walks into a room, he has such a quiet confidence about him. And funny enough, this is how the universe works. He's also someone that when he decides that you are a part of his people, he will do absolutely anything for you. Uh, I feel incredibly lucky to have uh, Eric in my life, um, and I am so incredibly thankful that he is marrying a woman that fits so well into ours. Okay, I made it through without crying. I said I was gonna do it. Karen, Eric, I am so excited for the two of you and cannot wait to celebrate your accomplishments. They will be many. Um, everyone in the glass, please raise a glass. Celebrate the couple. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.